share with Sonny react after Kenneth Okonko said Peter B does not have all it takes to secure a mandate. Welcome to the news. If you are new, kindly subscribe. And if you are my returning viewer, thank you for being there always. If you are new, kindly subscribe, share, make your comment known, and like this channel. Well, one man's meat, they say, is another man's poison. She Usani has reacted after Kenneth Okonko dumped Peter Obi and Labour Party. And definitely, I want to hear your own reaction too. Is it the kind of politics you want to continue to play in this country? When are we going to have personal, I mean, when are, we, when are we going to start having our country interests at heart above our personal things? Senator Sheo Usani, a prominent member of the People's Democratic Party and former Kaduna Central lawmaker, responded to lawyer Kenneth Okonko's recent comment about Peter Obi. Okonko has posted on his official ex ando expressing his lack of confidence in Peter Obi, stating that Obi does not have what it takes to secure a mandate even if people vote for him. Kenneth Okonko emphasized that he no longer believes Peter B can build a party capable of defeating Kakistocrats and kleptocrats. He pointed out that Obi has shown he cannot secure the mandate even if he wins the people's vote. Okonko stated that he does not intend to participate in another campaign like the one in 2023, projecting a candidate who cannot sustain victory, he decided to continue his political journey towards a great Nigeria of his vision without Peter Obi and reaffirm his loyalty to leaders he follows. And in a swift reaction to Okonko's statement, Shao Sani said, which he equally shared his hand Reflecting on the situation, a remark on the line the between fine line between like and dislike. This is indeed a thin line between like and dislike. Well, Sani has made his own comment. What is your own comment? Let's listen to people's reaction to Okonko's action. I believe not even to Shehu Sani's reaction. Well, we are seeing living in bondage part three. <laughs> One of them laughed. They said, no be small thing, no. No be only living in bondage part three. But we have people everywhere that are after money. As long as money is not flowing to them, they will run away. Another one said, you have come to disgrace yourself in the public, you know. Must you come out to talk about Obi? If you are done with him, why not keep quiet and leave? Look at what is coming out from your mouth against somebody you once stood for. See how you are condemning him before his haters. You have no shame. Politicians are here today. Tomorrow they are there. And because before they leave, they must come out to disgrace themselves and their masters. Shame on you, Kenneth, for not thinking before you come out to disgrace yourself. That is one person's opinion. And then I responded, that is politician for you, especially from this part of the world. It surprised me. How could Okonko do this to him? Politicians are very bad. How do you defend the mandate in Nigeria with a failed electoral process where a president is sworn in before case court, court cases are concluded, where the judiciary can be bought? You want to be to create a riot or burn down the nation without an electoral reform? Nigeria indeed is in bondage. We have said we should stop speaking negative about our nation. Nigeria will be out of bondage, Joe. 
Is Tinumbu the first president to be sworn in before conclusion of the court processes? Three years after Obasanjo was sworn in, Buhari was still in court. The problem is that we don't know what we want in this nation. They should put all the electoral things in place and let us know or agree as a nation if somebody will be sworn in before all litigation or after all litigation about the election. Well, as your president and Nigeria with the stolen mandate, people changes as time changes. Only the living God does not change. May your days be long. You should tell us why he is angry, apart from those comments. APC has convinced him to come and take appointment, maybe in his home state. Make one of the talk there, the man has made up his mind. Let him go. Let all the bad eggs, let all the mold in Labour Party leave before the next election. That is when we will know those that are with us in the Labour Party and those that are behind Peter will be. Some of them are just masquerading as lover will be when they are there as a mo. Kenan Tokonko is just a, is a comedian just like Chief Zebrudaya. He's only learning to become a politician, so nobody should take him seriously. What has the past leaders offer our nation? The one we think is capable, what has he done? More than one year now, I'm a Yoruba man, I'm against tribalism and religious bigotry. These two will never allow Nigeria to move forward. A competent hand is needed to harness our abundant God-given resources without looking at the tribe or the religious practice of the candidate. Now we are in it together. And what did the election result for Mr. It connotes tribe and religion will be factors always. It is the system that needs overhauling. Well, Kenneth Okonko may be right because in Nigeria, you will need to steal, kill, and destroy before you can get the mandate, and that secures it. All these attributes Peter B does not have the capacity to engage in them. But what Kenneth Okonko failed to know is that no individual political ambition is supposed to be worth the blood of any Nigerian. The man Okonko can be likened to FFK. His Excellency Peter Obi and the obedient nation worldwide does not really miss it. Well, will Kenneth Okonko be missed in the Labour Party or among the obedient? What is your opinion? Kindly make it known. Make your comment known as you like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you and God bless.